This shit is all business. So, I haven't made a video in a couple days. And I lost some subscribers. But I'll save that for the next video. And me explaining and talking about it going forward, right? But for this video, I want to talk about how this, this is all business. This is all business, man. When I think about... You know, we hear about the, the, the migrants supposedly taking over shelters in Colorado, and then we're hearing about Chicago. I just heard maybe about about a spot in New York, possibly, that this happened. Whether it's true or not, because I haven't seen any real footage, hard footage. I mean, I've seen the one with the ring camera and all this other stuff. Shout out to CT. You know, again, every a lot of things that are taking place now and for the next five to ten years, there's going to be a lot of narratives. There's going to be a lot of narratives because, again, we are going in the fourth, into the fourth industrial revolution. And in the fourth industrial revolution, it's a time period where everything that we've seen in movies is going to seem like it's in real life. You know, all the technology, all the crazy shit that we never thought <laughs> we never thought we would see, we're probably going to begin to see over the next five to ten years. And that narrative is not going to be able to... Uh, resonate it's not going to fully resonate in the minds of most people and then when you add in the loss of jobs and then we, when you add in the destruction of families that's going to happen because let's be honest most of these families are held together out of convenience out of some financial means if if that goes out the window i think a lot of people are going to see uh changes in, in their family situation and i, I don't even want to talk in that manner because i don't want to speak in whole terms i, I don't want to speak in every i just believe what we've seen during the pandemic is a small glimpse of what we're going to see throughout the U.S., especially since most people can't handle um, a setback. You know, not as a black person. I mean, we go through the show, but like the average person, a lot of you know, I think a lot of people are, and even the average black person, poor in America is different from poor anywhere else, right? And so I, I say, I'm, I know I'm kind of jumping around, but I want you guys to understand that the underlying statement of things is that this is business you know them letting the migrants in is business why the per the people here are not having babies and then we can't even work together especially as black people i mean but the goal was never for black people to work together anyway but obviously whatever they were trying to do on black folks it has went over to white folks they, they didn't want the narratives that are placed on black people to be placed on on white folks as well which is why you see now white folks, white, white women are coming out saying feminism was nasty. It, it, it wasn't right. You know, our, our women are, ain't catching up to that. But they're coming out and going against feminism. So the powers that be know that they need more people. They're opening up the borders because these folks are going to work hard. They're going to be good slaves. They're going to work hard to get these million dollar houses that we saw for 30000 Our parents bought for 30000 40000 50000 So we were like million dollars. No, to them, they're like, yo, million dollars, I'll shoot for it. 50 of us will be in the house and we'll figure it out and maybe they will who knows but everything is just business they're allowing these people to come into the country for business you know uh they're allowing what they what's happening for business everything is about money everything is about a corporation and again i understand even things such as i've been reading into the five percenters i'm not going down that road too much but i i understand their philosophy their philosophy was 10%, basically, 15% uh, of the population is keeping 85% of the population, 80% uh, of the population dumb, and it's the 5%'s job to wake up the 85%. I just think that we're at a point where even if you wake up the 85%, it's too late. You know, the last couple of days, I've been just trying to understand exactly how the economy is going to look, what kind of economy we're going towards. And glory be to God, I've been able to find people who are smarter than me to, to kind of put certain pieces together and understanding that we're going to an asset economy. We're going to see assets as they inflate the dollar, as they give out this free money, and as the, the average person becomes a lot poorer and it becomes a level playing field because they're just giving, giving it out. If you don't already have assets or you're not trying to accumulate assets, especially over the next five years, you're fucked. That's it. If you don't buy a house over the next three to five years, you'll probably never be able to buy a house again. Because your dollars will be worth so little, the assets are going to be worth so much, there's going to be no middle ground. At least that, that's, that's what I see. That's what I believe is going to happen. 
And so I've also been, you know, I, glory be to God, I've been able to find, I found out, you know, I realized that I'm a New York City guy. I'm a city guy. I don't want to, I don't want to leave New York City. I'll go an hour out, two hours out. I'll buy some land here and there, but I want to be in New York City. So glory be to God, I've been able to find a town within New York, not too far from New York City, uh, that I'll be able to purchase a property in at a great price. I mean, it's crazy that, you know, based upon the homework I'm doing, and I'm going to talk about it in a little bit uh, in another video, but the amount of investors that I've seen buying up into this location is crazy. It's crazy. And I, again, it's, it's, it's not just the location. It's happening to every major city. And then every hood is happening in every black hood, every, every hood, every down area, low income. Yo, it is happening. And I'm, I'm going to talk about it, but it's not going to be on YouTube. Because this shit that I'm learning and I'm figuring out, I'm not sharing this for free. You know, so I haven't been making videos because I'm just standing back and just, I'm, I'm assessing shit. And realizing how I'm going to make this shit pop. How I'm going to make another channel. And actually be more day-to-day -day on some vlog shit to see, really see what I'm doing on a daily basis and how I go about it. And sharing more intimately. But it, it's, it's not going to be for free, you know. But I'm just thinking about how I want all these things to happen. And that's why I say, it's all just business. We got to take our person, personal shit out of it. It's business. This, the same, they, I'm not here for love. Like, I understand the power of love. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, just even when I come to relationships and think about women here in America, it's just business. It ain't about love. <laughs> like, and it's even dangerous to even base your shit off that right now because you'll spend years with somebody and be fucked up. Trying to, you know, even, even in relationships, there's, there's power dynamics. There's, there's the push and pull of the man, the man's philosophy, the woman's philosophy, what she wants, what he wants. I ain't got time for that, <laughs> you know? And it's, I've just, over the last couple of days, just really been assessing and understanding a lot more to life and how to go forward and how I want to go forward. You know, what this channel is going to be, it's going to be the deep, intimate conversations about life. And I'm going to have another channel where it's going to be free willing and free love and free will and all this other shit. And it's not going to be as intensive on these conversations. You know, so I'm just stepping back and thinking and planning. It's all business. The micro situation, the tax situation, the property situation, they're not going to fix housing. It's not going to become affordable. And anything that the government gets involved in and wants to do this and do that, it's just going to hurt the common person. Because when you understand America is built off of law, it's built off of corporate law, it's built off of uh, uh, Great Britain's <laughs> uh, uh, legal foundation, and the financial system is built on top of the legal situation, which is like, this is why Mr. Scully been telling me like, yo, go to law school, go to law school. And he was telling me, he's been telling me that for years. And there's just certain things that I, I didn't understand. <laughs> I didn't understand until. It is what it is. So thanks for tuning in. And yeah, it's just business. Later.